and welcome, I'm your Kudmaki. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome free stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for November 25. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid asset tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. By the way, Unity's Black Friday sale is starting soon. You can already preview everything that is going to be at 50% off, and they're even going to have some flash deals up to 95% off. My own toolkit is going to be on sale, so if you want an excellent collection of tools to help you make games better and faster, then check it out in the link in the description. And I'm also running my own Black Friday sale on my own courses, so whether you need assets to make games, or whether you want to learn how to make games, then now is the time to get it. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a really nice one, it's a free pack for the Sinti Sidekick Character Creator. This is something they've started doing a while ago, these packs. It's a bit of a different style, it's more detailed than their low poly stuff. This one, this is their free star pack, so with this you can see how those characters look and how exactly this works. Personally I haven't used it myself yet, but this looks super custom, super modular. You can really make an infinite amount of characters just with these packs. Now you've got this free pack to try it out, and if you like it then you can pick up all the various packs they have. Next for a nice system, here we have a dialogue graph system. This one honestly is quite impressive, it looks very well made, very complex, again despite the fact that this one is completely free, you can define all kinds of characters, then you can choose what those characters say and how, you can set up all the various connections, this whole thing is very much a node based tool, so it's really easy to use, you just drag and drop a bunch of stuff, write a bunch of text, then you hit on play and the whole thing really just plays out. So yep, if your game has lots of text, lots of dialogue, then a tool like this can be pretty invaluable, and with this one being completely free, this is awesome. Then here's one to help you make your game look a little bit more special. This is a weather system tool. Adding weather is an easy way to make your game feel quite a bit more varied. You can basically take the exact same scene and make it look very different with just a bunch of various weather effects. This tool lets you add some rain, lets you add thunder, clear skies or a bunch of snow. Again, it's all a great way to basically multiply all of your assets easily. So if your game feels a bit too samey, if you have just a handful of assets, just a handful of levels, if so then you can add this and all of a sudden everything looks quite a bit more varied. Then if you're making a 2D game, here's a nice 2D character. It's a modular character and it's all animated. This one has 19 animations. All of them are bone based so you can easily swap out the visuals. This one is kind of like the 2D version of that Sinti character creator. You can modify all the pieces and create pretty much any character you want. And if you like this style, then this dev has tons more packs. Next for another interesting tool, here we have a player preps editor and manager. Player preps is a great way to easily save some data, but if you want to edit them then it is a little bit of a nightmare. You need to go into the registry and modify some files. It can be tricky to even just find where exactly they are being saved. So this tool helps you add that. You can edit, you can add, you can remove, do all kinds of things with player preps and do them with ease. It really does exactly what it says. And not only that, it also has real time monitoring so you can see data change in real time and keep track of changes. Then for some animations, here we have a nice soldier pack. This is by Kevin Iglesias, who also has a ton of awesome animation packs. I've used a bunch of his animation packs in my own projects over the many years. This one has basically a soldier with different firearms. It's got a pistol, a rifle, and a bazooka, and then has various animations. Aiming, walking, running, and so on. So if you're trying to make some kind of third person shooter, then this pack would be great. Next, if you like logging stuff, and you need a complex logger, then check out this one. It basically helps you make your console a lot more visible. You can easily see logs at a glance by just using different colors. You can put each log in a different category and of course change the colors for those categories. Then you can filter them out by category. It even has some very extensive documentation with all of the source code available. So yep, this is another one that looks super impressive, super well made, and again it's only a nice free tool. Then for some fun visuals, here's a nice red inferno world. It's quite a nice style, it's low poly, cartoony, looks dark but not too scary. So this could be some kind of fun arena in your game. You've got enough space to do some kind of boss battle. Or, since actually it's really just a whole bunch of parts, you can actually take these parts and build an entire level just off this one pack. This one is completely free and if you like this style, this dev has a much bigger pack that is paid. Then for another tool, here we have a behavior tree. This is one interesting way for building artificial intelligence. This is a graph tool, so it's all very visual. You really just drag and drop, then connect the various nodes. Each node really defines the behavior, so that can represent whatever you want. You can define how it goes from one state to the next, define all the conditions. You can tell it to wait, tell it to move, attack, and so on. Like I said, interesting way of doing some artificial intelligence, and the fact that this one is all visual, that makes it very intuitive. And finally, we have another simple but very useful tool. This one is the UI Raycast Zone, and it really is just an invisible area, meaning an area that is clickable by the Invent system. That way you can listen to UI clicks on any area you want. For example, if you've got some kind of joystick that is meant to exist pretty much on any area of the screen, you can use this to capture those clicks. This one works similar to an invisible image, except it has the benefit that it doesn't waste a draw call. 
Then it also has a polygon mode, so you can define whatever shape you want. And again, everything captures clays. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on DNT Asset Store for November 25. There's links to all in the description. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.